very moving image. Cider Rider sleeping in the pram factory. But for a painter, you see, it's delicious. The paint is delicious. He's paid as much attention to the cloth, the pillow, the jacket, the trousers, as he has to the head. Everything's cooled down. There's nothing warm in the painting apart from the head and the candle and the red saucer. My favourite bit of the whole painting, believe it or not, is the bottom right-hand corner. It's the shoe and the sock. Now, in the West, we read paintings from left to right, so we don't often notice what's happening in the bottom right of the picture. But I actually turned the postcard of this painting upside down, and you really notice the exquisite colouring. I watched Robert paint himself wearing a black smock several times, and if something is lit up on a black object, it's so far away from black. He used to use terra vera and purple. Terra vera is a gentle um, muted green to make those beautiful silvery tones. So he wanted to make the paint very poetic, perhaps to jar with the shock of the image of an old man sleeping on a very hard looking surface. It's lyrical, it's poetic. I like the composition. Starts off with the head, and then our eye is brought down to the hand, more or less in the centre, goes up to the other side. I find this very curious pillow almost looks like a, a, a face caressing Liz. I don't know whether that was purposeful or not. But Robert was so clever at simplifying paint. For example, ears are very difficult to paint. And he simplified the ear with just an area of violet paint. And it really works. Reminds me a bit of a Freud painting when it comes to the composition of looking down on a figure curled up with the head is quite low down. Exquisite paint, good enough to eat. Yes. And then same exit? Yeah, I think so. I'll just go and I'll come back. Okay. okay. Exquisite paint, good enough to eat. <laughs>